All right, so we have a lot of stuff regarding the start of the Worldwide Download Celebration. We have a couple of teasers here. And yes, Worldwide Download Celebration is in two days. I mean, I, I, I might as well already talk about it, bro. Like, Vegito is coming here. Yeah, LR Vegito Blue is coming. And then LR Fusions of Masu. Where is he at? Where's this boy? Fusions of Masu, Infinite of Masu. He's also on the way. This is just like, you know, we've been, we've been waiting for this. Like, look at this art is so sick. And then this Vegito are like, just look at them. We've been waiting. We, it's time. Ah, okay. But two days. Well, actually, these are probably dropping like three, four days. But two days before the actual World Ride Download Celebration starts now. Obviously, we still have a lot of events coming. So we're going to go ahead and break down everything that will be coming at the start of the Worldwide Celebration in terms of new events and brand new content here. So let's just start off here. Um, we're getting a new stage to the Ultimate Red Zone Dismal Future Edition. This event will be temporarily unavailable starting from the specified date due to preparations for the new stage, obviously. So specifically, stage three, we're getting only one stage added here. And it seems like this is going to be for uh, new Goku Black. Obviously, it is Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Um, this is going to be the first time he's added as a boss here, which is going to be good, right? Uh, you know, just a Rose Goku Black boss. So I'm trying to think like it's going to be like Rose Goku Black. And then well, who else are they going to add? Because I was thinking they're going to do like goku black and rose goku black as two separate stages but no we're already getting super saiyan rose so we're gonna get fusion zamasu and then are we gonna get like a is, is like the infinite zamasu gonna be a stage that that may be it we may get two different zamasu stages where one the last one is infinite zamasu and then the first one we get in part two could be this the normal fusion zamasu but we'll see how they want to handle things Again, it's, I would say they're probably not going to add like, you know, Trunks or Vegito or Vegeta as like a boss here. I would not expect that, right? So we're getting stage three here, which is good. Now, this is a new challenge event here. So a new high difficulty event, Divine Wrath and Mortal Real Will is coming soon here. By completing all the specified missions, you can obtain a unique title categorized as a special title. Plus, the new support memory, two Zamasus will be available. Clear all the stages that become available during the Worldwide Celebration to complete two Zamasus. It says nine. I don't know if that means there's going to be nine stages added to this event, which will be interesting. Um, we'll know again tomorrow is the data download, right? We know that if we could take a look here. The preparation date is the 23rd. Well, it's technically today. Later today, we will have the data download for this stuff. So we're going to know like the new stage, Rosé. We're going to get like kind of the stage out here. We'll know exactly when they release. And this support memory, I would assume it's going to be in the data. So we'll know what this support memory is going to do. My assumption for this support memory is like um, extreme class, like future saga category allies or time travelers or something. Get like that 15% buff maybe, but we'll see how that's going to work out. But um i would say i don't know would it be like this event here i would have to find the description for this event um uh, with characters from the movie because you know is there a way i could like bring up the if i if i look for it i could probably find the um announcement like let's go to 57 last year no let's go to like 75 if I could find the announcement from last year with the new event, we could see um, uh, how, how exactly it's worded compared to last year. Because I don't know if it's going to be the same thing. I saw some people speculating. Is it going to be the same thing as what we saw previously? And it's not impossible. So let, let's see. Here it is, right? Um, uh, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't say anything. Well, it says different restrictions of the categories of characters. So I would assume it's not. It might just be a new difficult stage. Um, like, you know, how we got the Shadow Dragon stage, for example, right? This will be very interesting. So I I, I would assume we're going to get super class bosses here, which that will be really good for us getting difficult super class bosses, right? Trunks, Vegito, Goku, Vegeta. Hopefully it's going to be something like that. And we'll just have to wait and see how that's going to be handled. 
Um, okay. So now we have the new story event coming soon. We have the Super Warrior Memorial Trunks Fighter Hope. Uh, just basically just the, a story event covering Trunks here. Uh, they don't actually show this on the global version, funny enough. So let me switch over to the JP version here. Um, but we can actually see the Trunks right here. So this is the new Trunks. And we see we get his passive, right? So I guess it's Q1, 70% attack and defense. He gets multiplicative attack and even 10% up to 50%, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure exactly. I would have to, you know, give me give me one second here. But um, anyways, this is the new story event where we're able to get the trunks that was in this V-Gem scan right here. So this is the SSR version of the trunks. I assume we're going to get this new status added throughout the actual celebration, which is why we're not like seeing that the trunks can Dokkan Awaken just yet, obviously. It makes a lot of sense that the trunks is not gonna be dope on awaken just yet right um so this trunks yeah again with each attack performs he gets 10 percent extra attack and defense if there's a future saga category ally attacking in the same turn he does also get an additional 30 percent attack and defense so that's basically all we're knowing here you want to use him with future saga enemies is what it's future saga allies my bad is what it's saying so yeah, the Strunk's very basic. We'll see how he's going to be once he transforms. Maybe he has the new domain, which is what's the Dokkan um, field thing called, right? We'll see how that's going to actually go through. But it is this Trunks right here. I already opened it, but he was, he's going to Dokkan Awaken into this Trunks, right? So we'll see how things go from there. Um, dude, it'd be interesting if he ends up Dokkan Awaken into an LR2. I don't, what, if he's, what if it's this Trunks into this Trunks? as a tr and then for the lr we get dragon ball super trunks that would be interesting but i i i doubt that's going to be a thing they probably they probably would have showed he would have been token awakened to an lr but if there's anything we could see tomorrow on the data download um okay we have a new stage added to this event so this is the um uh, future trunks saga event it's just stage eight being added it's possible that this guy is going to finally get his final Dokkan Awakening. Easily could see that. This Super Saiyan Trunks getting a Dokkan Awakening right here. This guy came out in 2016, dude. It's a very long time. So, I mean, it would be just an extra free-to-play unit for this um, event. I think that'd be pretty cool to get this guy a Dokkan Awakening. Make him good, right? <laughs> Obviously, I mean, he's such a blank slate. They could really do anything with this guy, and he could be an interesting free unit. So, may it's also possible that it's just like EX skill orbs or something like that, where it's like you clear the stage every day, you get EX skill orbs. They've done that with like the Universe Six event stuff like that. So, that's that. That's basically it. There, we'll just have to wait and see how that's gonna turn out. Um, now next we have uh, uh let me close this here. This last point right here. So. We have the new Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash coming soon. The 59th Virtual Ultimate Dokkan Clash is a special edition. Obviously, it's just showing us just Future Saga bosses, right? So, Future Gohan, Mai, Sword of Hope Trunks, Rose Scythe, uh, Scythe, I said Scythe for some reason, and then uh, the Zamasu right here. So, I mean, I, I, I've seen a lot of people speculating on part two. Which I think I want to talk about a little. Part two, right? We, obviously, we know the part one units, right? I mean, we got that in the Dokkan official teaser. Uh, actually, you know, there, there's one or two things I want to talk about regarding the, the actual video that they dropped anyways. Where is it? Hello? Uh, it's just not here. Am I blind? I missed it, I guess. Um, where is, is it? Pins? Is that why? Yeah, it's pins. That's why. Okay, but... Um, Obviously, we know the LRs that are part one and part two, right? The uh, part one, the Vegito Blue, well, it's part two you know people are like oh what if it's still double trunks for part two right and it's like not possible but i don't know i i, I really do feel like it's going to be roseanne trunks but we'll have to wait and see how things are going to go there but again just a special battlefield is good to have right um now there's a couple of things here again this is the celebration info we did actually get this uh right here uh i talked about this in the previous video but this is again going to be with an upgraded um red zone essentially it's called it's called the super select zone or something now so that's good uh that's something in the celebration that we are gonna have we should get that super select stone in the actual um data download tomorrow then we're getting this event with my uh no this is the co-op event right so we'll probably get like some data about that tomorrow but that's really it um we there's no events actually announced here so this will be the events we're getting for the worldwide celebration part one 
and anything extra will be in the data download tomorrow if it's hidden but that's pretty much it let me know what you guys are thinking about the worldwide download celebration let me know if you're hyped for vegeto i mean most of us are hyped for vegeto and some monster right it's gonna be pretty sick and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out